Hello friends, today I am going to cover a very interesting topic. So today I am going to cover that how can we make a table as a read only with the help of the triggers. Okay, so I will create a trigger, I will create a table and with the help of that trigger I will create that table as a read only. So first I am going to create a table. Create table with a table name. Now I'm going to specify here column name ID like in teaser identity one comma one then employee ID like uh, where care ten and then employee name where care hundred okay so you can see here that there is already an object okay so we'll create some different name okay select a star from the table name so you can see here that we have created our table now first we will insert the data in this table. Insert into table name. Then specify column employee ID and employee name. And then values E001 employee ID for the first person like name one so this value is inserted as a first row then second row i'm going to insert here then third row now we can check that three rows are there in the table okay so now we can see that I am able to insert the rows in this table. Okay, now we will test that whether we are able to update the data in this table or not. So I am going to update in this table. Update table name set employee ID. I am going to set as E003. and mp name equal to name 3 where id equal to 3 so for third id i am going to update the value okay so value is successfully updated now we can verify that what value is there in the table yeah you can see that there is a value updated so you can see that we are able to update the value in this table we are able to insert the value in this table so what i will do now now i'm going to create a trigger that will prevent us to insert and update the value so that we can make our table as a read only with the help of the trigger so create trigger and trigger name TVL employee one. This is a user defined name, we can put any name as per our requirement. So there is no problem with the name. Spelling mistake is here. Okay, so create trigger trigger name on table name on which table we are going to create the trigger this is the table name okay as then begin and equivalent to that begin we are creating the end now what i am going to do here raise 
error in case user is going to insert or update the value what error message we want to display it is depend on us whatever your requirement you can put the message like you are not authorize to insert update values as percent text return this what i will do here roll back the transaction roll back transaction So here it is showing syntax error. What is that? We have not defined that for what purpose I'm going to create this trigger. So I'm going to create a trigger on this table and what the purpose? After insert, update, delete. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so trigger is created successfully. Now we can check that how many values are there in this table. There are three rows. Okay, now I'm going to insert fourth row. Fourth row value is four and name equal to name four. So you can see here that whenever we are going to try the insert value, it is showing the message, whatever message we have put in our trigger. You are not authorized to insert update values. Okay. You can see that this is the same message, whatever I have put here. Okay. So now user is not able to insert any value. Now I'm going to update the value for employee ID equal to 4 where ID equal to 3. Let's see what is the message we will get here. Same message. We are not able to update the value in this table. It is showing the same message. You are not authorized to insert or update values transaction ended so now here you can see that with the help of the triggers we can create our table and then we can make our table as a read only so friends if you like my this session then please like and subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt related to this topic or you want to make clear some other topic you can You can mention your query in this chat box. Okay. So please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.